<laughs> All right, welcome guys. Tonight's video, we are over here in Siam Reap, Siam Reap, Cambodia. And we're gonna go check out the night market. And as you can see, I'm going down the road in a tuk-tuk. And I'm joined with uh, one of my buddies here, Mark, if you can see him. Hello. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go check out the night market and see what it looks like. All right, so we hired out a uh, motorcycle tuk-tuk here for, uh, there's my driver. He's not watching the road. Safety first. Oh, what's a dog? <laughs> so, uh, got a dog here in Cambodia, the same as Thailand. So we're off to uh, the night market, and we, as you can see, we're uh, going at the blazing speed of about four kilometers an hour. So uh, hopefully this will be pretty cool. So a little bit of downtown Siem Reap here. Our uh, Tuk Tuk driver's name is Sina. He's showing us around, telling us the best beef in Siem Reap, showing us the other markets, telling us about his family, everything. He said he has more power than John Cena. All right, so here we go. Here's our night market. So Cena said he'll wait for us, so he brought us from the hotel right over to here. Hello, hello friend. All right, this is our tuk-tuk guy, Cena. So he'll be waiting on us, so we'll go look at the market. All right, so here we are in the night market. And it looks like the prices that you'll see here are all gonna be in dollars as well as the Cambodian money. They actually use uh, dollars as one of their uh, national currencies. So if you come here with USD, you're in good shape and uh, they will give you change in the Cambodian money. So we have some pubs up above, some uh, little clothing stalls, some food, and it looks pretty quiet. But there are some people out and about, so that's a good thing, a few tourists. So it's got some guys cooking up some seafood over here. And you got some frogs, got the shells, got the shrimp, got octopus, and then he's grilling it up right there in the big wok. All right, so they got the fish massage right here at the Sam Nang Massage. How much? Three dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars for the head massage. Oh, and very good? Yeah. Very all right, good. all right, thank you. Well, this is fantastic. So this guy's doing some handcrafted leather work, and you can see what he does right there. Wow, that's fantastic. So it looks like we have ice cream all around. It's the old market, we're not quite there yet. And then here's Pub Street, where there's a lot of the bars and stuff like that. People can come and have some drinks. And it goes on both sides of this little market. Yeah, this has got a different uh, different vibe than what the Thai night markets have. It's uh, a pretty fun env environment. Nice big wide street. That's kind of cool. You got an American themed little pub here. So you have all the license plates, Colorado, California, Montana. You got some Yankee fan parking. You got some street performers here dressed up in the old clothes. All right, so let's walk down Pub Street and see what it looks like. They have quite a few places here that are selling ice cream, ice cream and uh, desserts like roti, and then everything else seems to be like sit-down bars with uh, some beers and stuff like that. And the beers start at usually like around a dollar here. Quite a bit of stuff going on. Yeah, and the pizzas on the place saw some uh, like actual brick oven pizzas. Oh, we got some music playing. Copyright strike incoming. So we got fish massage. So we got some live music playing in here. Kids selling the little wares. And then they have like steak and everything in this place. Happy hour at nine. Four beers for uh, nine bucks. Have some jewelry, have the ice cream. Seems like there's about 40 of these places around. 
some more snacks. Have some, uh, oh, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, they're making churros right here. So 3,500 of the uh, Cam Cam Cambodian money, which is a little bit less than a dollar. I think it's 4,000 to one is the exchange rate right now. So this is inter interesting anyway. So you have a scooter that they've made into the chopper. Has some little girls selling like magnets and all of that. Got a gal out here selling her stuff. Everybody's doing the Instagram photo pictures in front of Pub Street. And this is a Saturday night, and we talked to the one of the ladies here. She said it's been pretty good the last couple nights, but during the week it's pretty quiet still. They just don't have a, very many tourists yet. So they have uh, all the clothes, everything down here. They have a little bit of street food on this side, and they don't close this road down, or it doesn't seem like it. So there's uh, motorcycles, tuk tuk stuff like that going through. But everything else is on this nice wide sidewalk. And then they have a few like street food vendors and stuff back over towards a little canal. But over here looks like mostly uh, souvenir clothes and all of that. So we'll, uh, we'll look down and see if there's anything cool. Now, when you come here, you uh, pay in US dollars or you can use the Cambodian uh, real, I think is what it is. The exchange rate now is like 4,000 to one, like 4,000 real to $1. But if you buy something and it's like 50 cents, They'll give you change in the Cambodian money. And most everything you can get for like a dollar or two dollars or something like that. It's pretty inexpensive. The prices here are much lower than they are in Thailand, it seems like to me. So as you can see, they have hats, shirts, little bags, sandals, everything here. In Thailand, you would see it, it would say Thailand here. It says Cambodia. So they just, they basically it's the same screen printing, same elephant pants, same shirts, all of that. I mean, it's nice enough. You got Angkor Wat on some of the things. And they have Angkor beer with the Cambodian script. So here they have a whole bunch of like the souvenirs. They have the masks, Cambodian flags, they have postcards and some screen prints. Some of these would be pretty nice. You could get a screen print of Angkor Wat. Yeah, that would be a nice little thing to hang up on the wall. Then they have the, the Buddhist stuff. Some wood carvings, patches. And they make this here out of leather. The guys uh, hand stamp it and cut it. And then you can hang it up and have a like a light behind it. And it looks pretty cool. And then they have the little knickknacks here, the wicker stuff, the Little teak wood, silverware, tissue holders. And this is another nice painting here with the tie dancers. So here they have the tuk tuks. And you can't go anywhere without these guys trying to get you to get a lift from them. You can get them to take you around for a couple bucks. Get them to like take you to your hotel or whatever. Pretty inexpensive. And they'll wait for you. You can uh, pay them a little extra and they'll just wait around here for you. And then they can take you back. Have some massage. <laughs> and here they have some, uh, like a little tours you can do. So you can join in. So take you around for uh, from eight in the morning till uh, six in the evening for 15, 17, 40 dollars. So that would be uh, fairly inexpensive. You can go buy a tuk tuk or uh, by a little minivan. All right, guys, so that's gonna finish up a quick little walk around here in this uh, night market. There's another night market close by that we are gonna go to, but it's now too late and it closed up. So we're gonna uh, find the Tuk Tuk guy and we're gonna head on back to the hotel. So anyway, if you liked the video, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. This is uh, what I do. I walk around with my camera and show you what I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you like this, then stick around and leave me a comment, tell me what you think. So until next time guys, remember, from over here in the night market at CM Reap, Cambodia, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.